God's special day has arrived for Ladarian and Crystal, the day in which they are to exchange their marriage vows, witnessed by both you and God. Ladarian and Crystal have asked me to share with you the true meaning of marriage as expressed through the wedding ceremony. In the book of Genesis, when God created man, he saw that it was not good for man to live alone. So God said, I will make a helper suitable for him. In this sense, God and man are one. And now Ladarian and Crystal can become one in him. For they find themselves in discovering each other, drawing close to each other as they draw near to God. Together they become complete in God's purpose for a man and woman to be one in spirit and soul and in body. LA, anything you give a woman, she will multiply. You give her a young girl, she will raise her into a grown woman. You give her groceries, she will give you a meal. You give her a house, and I guarantee you she will give you a home. Rest assured that there is no indication of doubt that rests inside of your loin that this woman beside you, my friend, will build you more than anyone else in your life that you have ever imagined. Today I was in tears because I thought I lost a best friend, but because of you, Crystal, you have now given me a Haitian brother, so I thank you. thank God enough for making you my wife. You are the most stunning and most beautiful woman I've ever laid eyes on. Words like kind, loving, and loyal don't suffice when it comes to you and how I view you because you are a one of a kind entity and you are my queen. I vow to be your support and your comfort and to be there for you in times of sorrow and in joy. Today begins the new chapter for the rest of our lives. A new journey of love, family, joy, and prosperity awaits us. Besides God, you are my number one, my king, my rock, and with us together. It's okay. It's okay. As a team, no one can break us. No one can break us down. May God not only continue to bless our lives, but our love and our union. I love you, babe, forever. And now heaven and earth have heard your vows. Therefore, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, I here now pronounce you husband, husband, <laughs> and wife, whom God has joined together. Let no man put asunder. You may now salute your life.
let us toast to Mr. and Mrs. Moyet.